Week 10 of the UFL is interesting. The conference postseason matchups are already determined, but coincidentally, the four teams that will meet in the playoffs will also meet in the regular season finales. So what's the mindset heading into week nine as we go into that final week of the regular season and then to the postseason? Well, let's hear from the coaches. St. Louis on the road at the 1-7 Arlington Renegades before wrapping up the season with San Antonio in the regular season finale at the Dome. We're ahead of San, uh, San Antonio right now, even though we're tied. And you know, we keep winning, then, you know, that's how you control your own destiny. And that's where we want to be. So if we got to win the rest to do it, then that's what we'll have to do. But we do have to have a plan in place because of how, what is the scenario and, and what does that look like? Birmingham and San Antonio meet in the Alamo Dome Saturday for what some fans think could be a UFL championship preview. If the Brahmas can prove, call is indeed not the law in the XFL title game. The playoff game is the, obviously the key game. I mean, We'd like to have as many people as we, we can ready to play St. Louis in the in the playoffs, you know. Uh, these two games are important, and I think if we win, or certainly if we win those two games, we, we play at home. But the most important game is the, is the playoff game. So we, we'd like to be healthy for that one. We've got three games guaranteed. They're all playoff bound. And obviously, the, if we make it to the championship game, uh, we've got four playoff, playoff bound teams remaining. So we've got a We've got a pretty good slate in front of us. I think these next two weeks will be a great opportunity for us to continue to polish some things up to get ready for the playoffs. The Michigan Panthers got some rough news when they found out their rushing touchdown leader Wes Hills is out for the season after an injury last week against Memphis. The Panthers on the road Sunday to take on a Houston Roughnecks team that showed some life against Birmingham, but is still just one and seven. You know, we have an opponent to try and prepare for, as you all well know. You know, you want to play well down the stretch. You want to build towards going to the playoffs. And playing well has a lot to do with that. So we take a lot of pride in, in the planning. And, you know, we'll pre prepare just as if we're fighting for a playoff spot, I would hope. Um, and it does give you an opportunity to, to play your entire roster, which I think is helpful. Um, because if you do get in the playoffs, you know, and and as of recently, some of our backups had have become the starters because of injuries. And this week will be no different. We have some guys that got dinged up the other day in the game. So, um, you know, so we have to, like I said, so we kind of prepare no different than we would before. And uh, but I just and during the game, I think you might see a little bit more 50 50 kind of between starter backup Um Outside of that, not a lot of not a lot of change. Just a sampling of what the coaches are thinking as they try to get to the postseason unscathed. More UFL coverage right here. Be sure to like and subscribe.